Right then. Let's get a look at you. Oh no. No, 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 not good. Not good at all. Aye, not good. Not good at all. It's all in the chest. Listen. <laughs> I'm just going to have a lie down on the couch. We have a wee hot water bottle. Yes, John. Bye. <laughs> ah, that'll give the bastard something to think about. That's bad news, that. What's bad news? Make note you're at death's door and there's he haw rang with you. And him away her there worried sick. <laughs> Is he buggery? He called last month there when I had the flu. Sure I was bad with it, Jack. Aye. And he gives it on the phone. Look, it's probably just a cold, da. Uh, take a couple of aspirins and away to your bed. Mm. Aye, that's right. Uh, see, that's you clamp now, cos you know what he's like. He's a he's an uncaring bastard. That's enough now. Do you know he was out there at the phone? What? Oh, oh I don't know, Dad. We'll probably not get a holiday this year. We're too busy. Which I know to be a lot of pish, because the Grand Wayne let slip to me that they're, they're going to hurt moths for a fortnight in the hang me. Uh, uh, run calm. I mean, that's only just doing the road. Yes, you're quite right, Victor. You have indeed been treated shoddily. Nay, shitily. <laughs> if I were you, I would contact my city solicitor and inform him the McDade millions will not be passed on to the natural son, John, but awarded in its totality to the cat and dog home. He shall suffer for his lack of concern by receiving not a curdy of my millions and none of my stuff. Surely he'll be expecting to be bequeathed the side plate of Blackpool. Nor will he ever clap eyes on the tea towel of Balloch. <laughs> Ed, how'd you get on? Fantastic. She was that accurate. Oh, what'd you tell you? I'm coming into money. Aye. I'm going to get a holiday. I've to worry less. Oh. <laughs> and I've got a big change coming. Oh, that's great news. Hint it me now. Good for you, Peggy. Aye. Next. Oh, jeez. That's me. <laughs> uh, leave your scampi on the table, hen. Then he ran my tent, honk, do it. Right. <laughs> oh dear. Fit isn't he, Long John Silver? If I was Long John Silver, you'd be first to walk the plank, you wank. Sam, oh. <laughs> Eric. What's wrong with you? Fit's loud. You can barely stone on it. Is it a bunion or something? No, it's not a bunion. Here, wait till I show you. Whoa, you <laughs> bastard. What is that? Put your slipper back on. That would give you the book. Mm. <laughs> I'm seeing the doctor in the morning. He's going to give me something for it. Uh, a hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a joy to be old. That's no getting better. That's finished. Tell you what, though. When it drops off next week, I'll give you a ten. I'll stick it behind the bar as a attraction. <laughs> Shut up, Bobby. I'm in agony here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's a scampi and taro night. £2.50. Peggy organised it. What's taro? Kerbs. Mm. Looking in the future and that. Apparently she's very, very good. What a sight! <laughs> Whiskey, Bobby. Well, uh, what happened there? Uh, she didn't like her reading. Well, what did you tell her? Tell her she was going to get knocked down by a motor next Thursday. <laughs> what did you tell her that for? That's what is said in the cards. Ella, you're here for entertainment. No telling they're going to snuff it. Bobby, the cards don't lie. Is there somebody here in pain? With a leg or a foot? He's my scampi. <laughs> that is a bit whiffy, isn't it? Aye, a wee bit. Do you smoke, Mr Ingram? No, no, not at all, son. I gave up five years ago. Too dear, sure. How many would you say you smoked a day? Ten, fifteen, say eighty. Eighty? 
Yes, well, I would say that could be the reason for your foot. I'm going to send you up to see a Dr Fletcher at the Royal. Get him to have a look at it. Is it that bad, is it? It's pretty bad. Bad enough to claim attendance allowance? Oh, yes, I would say so. I'll just have to fill out a form for the Social Security. Yes, you dancer. Now, listen, that's the number of the hospital. Can you get up there tomorrow? No problem, son. There's just one other person I've got to see first. I'm in the money, I'm in the money. I've got a gammy fit and it's worth an extra 40 quid a week in attendance allowance. <laughs> what are you looking so chipper about? Oh, the doctor says I've got extra social security causing my bad fit. So are we? Jesus! That's bogging. Who caused that? Years and years of smoking. Here. You may get lucky, Jack. You could be next. Cheery bye. <laughs> You'll be back in ten minutes fishing that out of there. Fish, that's me done with. Jesus, I have known you a long, long time, and I have never seen you without that pipe. Ah, no. You just got to watch, but you know. How's that? Well, they say that when you stop smoking, the first thing that happens is the old weight shoots up. All right. Right. Something to do with the increase in appetite. That's a fact, eh? <laughs> oh, look at that. You've got a message in your answer machine. I'll retrieve that. Da, 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 da. Indeed you will not. Last time I had a message, you rubbed it out. Oh, Mr Popular, that was about two bloody year ago. Have you not had a phone call since then? No. <laughs> You're just jealous cos I've got a machine and I've got a message. Are you going to let us hear it or what? Right. You may retrieve the message now. Oh, shite. What? I've only went and rubbed it out. Hey! <laughs> only kidding. Are right, you ready? I ready. OK. Hi, Dad, you're not in. Um, maybe you're sleeping. Look, I hope you're feeling better. I'll uh, phone later. <laughs> there you are. There you are, boy. He's worried. Look, John calls me, if I'm lucky, every six months. He's called yesterday, there he is on the phone the other day. He's sitting up and he's, he's paying attention now. That's no fair. That means you've got him worried for nothing. <sighs> well, it seems to be working. Hello, John son. Yes, I got your message. I just went out for a wee bit of fresh air there. Thought it might do me some good. No, I just seem to have tired myself out. <laughs> Jack? Yes, Jack's here. How? He wants to speak to you. Come on. Get it up, you Victor. I am not telling any lies for you. Here he is. <laughs> Hello, John. Uh-huh. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, he's not great, as I know. No, but he's got me sure. Aye, aye, I'll make sure he gets a right good rest. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a smashing idea, son. That's what to do, aye. Fo phone tomorrow. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, Johnny boy. See you later now. All the all. You are one big lousy bastard. I know. I feel lousy. Really lousy. <laughs> Oh, how you doing, Isa? Terrible. Do you know what that bloody spay wife says to me? Ah, the spay wife. She says, you're going to hear about a birth, you're going to get lucky with money, and get this, you're going to die in thirst. <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing at? Oh, come on, you don't actually believe that, do you? I don't know what to think. Everybody else said she was dead accurate. She's put a fear of God in me. So, how are you going to meet your maker? Knocked in by car. A silver car. Oh, wait a minute. What? I've got a silver car. Maybe I'm going to knock you down on Thursday so I don't have to pee on Friday. <laughs> it's not funny. Can I her £2.50? £2.50? For your fortune? You got a plate of scampi and all for that. Hold the bus, Isa. I think it is safe to assume that your spay wife is talking pish. Well, who's that? For scampi, huh? A big bag of that for the cash and carry will set you back about £7.99. How many of you are there? Eight years. Eight portions, eh? So that's a quite a skull. 
Was there tartar sauce? Oh, aye. Aye, so that's another 10p, which leaves you with one pound forty. One pound forty? Aye, but this transport travel there and back, say two pound each way is four pound, divided by the eight people that will is 50p. Take that away from the one pound forty, leaves you with 90p. So, you're telling me you queued up to pay 90 pence to be told that you are going to pop your clogs on Thursday? <laughs> well, forgive me, Isa, but you're being a stupid cow. If you could read fortunes, would you only be charging 90 pence? Would you buggery? In fact, why don't you give me 90 pence now? And I will tell you that when you wake up in the morning, you'll be Bridget Bardo, huh? Aye, I suppose you're right, Navid. Hey, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Six eggs, Navid. Oh, hello, Isa. Isa, that's Noreen Kirkwood, had a wee boy. Seven pounds, six ounces. Yeah, you got a wee sharp knife in the house? I do, aye, how? Both carrots. I'm going to cut them up into wee bits. <laughs> then what are you going to do? Are you going to stick them all back together again? No, I'm going to eat them, sure. That's going to keep me half a pipe. Oh, aye, the pipe. How are you getting on with that? <sighs> Shite, actually. Couldn't get to sleep for ages last night, and then when I eventually did drop off, dreams, you know. What kind of dreams? Pipe dreams. <laughs> Me, bollock naked, running about a tobacco field, slow motion, like that. And the field's on fire. I'm not worried. I just lie down, fill my lungs like that. <laughs> Those wee carrots are going to save you, are they? Ah, uh, well, let's hope so. <laughs> ah, I'll be my John. <laughs> What are you doing? Just getting into character. <laughs> Hello? Hello, John? You're what? Half an hour, you say? Right. OK, bye. Jack? What? That was John. He's at the airport, he's here. He's going to be here in half an hour. I bloody tell you. Tell me what? Putting on that performance in the phone, now look what you've done. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Don't drag me into it. I'm doing a hole here. Aye, you're doing a hole, but you dug it yourself. Giving it all that, oh, I'm going to go and lie on the couch with a hot water bottle, I'm no well. <laughs> you bought the boy into a frenzy and now he's here. Right, right. You open the door. Aye. And you say, you're too late. Your dad's deed. That's utter shite. He's only just off the phone to you. Says he'll be here in half an hour. What have I do? Open the door and say, Oh, hello, John. In you come. Oh, by the way, your dad died ten minutes ago. Ah, you're right, it's garbage, Jack. You think of something. How have I to think of something? Well, you were the last one that spoke to him. You probably laid it on too thick. You're to blame. Oh, that's right. I'm to blame, I. I'm going to accept that. In fact, here's what we'll do. I'll get an iron brew bottle, right, and batter your bastard melt in me. <laughs> then you will be ill when he comes to the door. <laughs> what a bloody spot you've got us into. <laughs> oh, doing, but. <laughs> How does this sound? What's up with you? Off on a ten, I'm afraid. Oh, jeez, that's bad. What's bad about finding a... Ah, the spay wife. First the birth, now the finding of the money, eh? I'm going to get killed by a car on Thursday. Now, Isa, calm your beans. It's a coincidence. I know. You're not going to die on Thursday. Just take it easy, eh? Put it to the back of your mind and don't let your life be ruled by such silliness. You think? Aye. Oh, oh I'm just being daft, haven't I? Aye. But, you know, just in case, eh? Maybe I should uh, pop this in the window, eh? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody ha! Huh? <laughs> uh, grapes, any grapes? Aye, just there. Aye, right, right, eh? Hey. Oh, wait a minute. People's friend. People's friend. Oh, and I need the uh, Lucas Aid and the uh, Paracetamol. Thank you. Uh, I need a crankies. I'll do. You okay, Jack? Hey, me? Aye. Oh, oh, bloody day I'm having. Eh, uh, I've keyed up the pipe, you know. Well, good for you. Uh, 
Come on, don't jangly way, but you know. Uh, I'm sure that'll pass. I'm sure it will. Now, if I ask you for tobacco under no circumstances, will you let me have it, OK? Understood. Doesn't matter how much I want it. Doesn't matter how much you want it. I've no to get it. You've no to get it. Begging, pleading, shouting and bawling, doing on my knees and everything, I have not to get tobacco. No tobacco. Right. OK. See you later. I'll take a packet of tobacco. <coughs> Invite! Come on, Jack, seal's a seal. Ah, oh, you big bastard, you. You'll always be here for you, Jack. <laughs> Jack! Who's that? It's your son, John. Came to visit you. Dad? <laughs> John, son. It's good. <laughs> Come closer, son. Let me see you. Ah, you're getting old. Just like your dad. How is your flight, son? Oh, never mind that. How are you? You know. Jack! What? Can I get a wee cup of tea? Aye, aye. Jack! Could you run us up a wee play of sandwiches and all? What do you want on them? Cheese. Could you grate it, but? <laughs> Gr grate it? Put a wee bit of onion through it. Onion? And ranch and pickle. Pickle, right? Right. Hey, Mr Ingram, you wish to apply for attendance allowance? For my fit. You take fits? No, <laughs> for my foot. What's wrong with it? It's knackered. What do you mean? It's sore when I walk, it's sore when I'm sleeping. It's just sore all the time. Right, and you want us to give you extra money for that? Yes. Well, we'll need a doctor's report. Of course. That won't be a problem. Of course it won't. What do you mean, of course it won't? Well, as I can see from your file, it's one of the things you excel in, claiming. In 1992, you claimed for a new cooker and a new fryer because you said... Two big men came in, tied you up and stole them. That's right. That was horrible, that. Right, and then last year you claimed a laundry allowance because of incontinence due to a motorcycle accident. Yes, yes, that's quite correct. I, I was on the sidecar of my mate Phil's uh, motorcycle and we had an oil patch and boof, that was it. It, it, it came away and I shat myself. <laughs> That was me after that. I just got into the way of it. I've been doing it ever since. I've got a big nappy on right now. <laughs> so this claim, to be honest, is a bit of a letdown. Eh? It's not very imaginative, is it? I do have a bad foot. I don't think you do. Well, darling, how would you like to get your tongue in between those tootsies? Get that off my desk. <laughs> I'll just get your form. There's no stain with you, then? No. He's checked yourself into one of the big hotels in the town. Why don't you just come clean and tell him you've been acting a bloody good? That will be right. I'll go off his nut, Jack. So when are you seeing him again? He's going to pop up later. Anyway, I think he's a chance to get a pint. <laughs> ha! Dad! Oh, what are you doing now? What am I doing here, Jack? Eh? Eh, uh, I, I thought we could see if we maybe manage a wee pint. With all due respect, Jack, I think my dad should be in the house. Eh. John's right, Jack. I should be in the house. <laughs> no, that's a lot of nonsense, Victor, sure. We better come near the end of the world, the good. I'll come with you. Excuse me, Dad. Jack. Hello? It's a hotel. My visa number, aye. What would we do? Eh, go for a pint. But everyone in the clansmen will be wondering what's wrong with me. Uh, OK, paint. Aye, aye, aye. Take your feathers out of there. Aye, <laughs> Hey, I'll just stand here for a wee minute. Catch my breath. It's off a smoky in there, Jack. I'll wait with you then. Right, I'll, I'll wait on then. <laughs> oh, eh. Hey. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'll, I'll get in the pub. <laughs> Here. Listen. Oh, Tom. Eric. Shh, Bobby. 
Victor, no well at all. What's wrong, man? Nothing. Huh? He's supposed to be from South Africa because Victor's made out he's no well. What's he doing that for? He just is. Victor's laying it on thick. Crinkle, cut, crisps. That's what I like along with my beer. So three lagers, please, and uh, the crisps. Let's get your seat there. Come on. Aye. Beer, Victor? Are you sure? I could get you a wee lemon tea or a hot chocolate, seeing as you're no well. You got a toy line here. <laughs> oh, I'm in a terrible attack of the thirsts here, Bobby. I'll have a pint of lager, please. Victor's buying. Hey! Otherwise, I'll go into that cludgy and start blabbering. You rat! I'll have one and all. You know me, Victor, I like you, but it's sticky in. Single malt buys my silence. Right, you bastards! <laughs> Do you think he's buying it? Oh, I don't know, Victor. He looks a wee bit suspicious to me. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a fall. Oh, I, I, I did that. Oh! You're doing it, bloody clown. I don't know be better if he's seen you doing it. <laughs> right, I will cue you to fall, right? <clears throat> Hold it. Hold it. Oh! oh. Nah, false alarm, that's not him. That'd be good. That's you. That's you. Hey. Oh! Oh, the falling! Oh, the indignity! Jags, son. My hip. Finished. Hi. There's nothing wrong with you, is there, Dad? No. Give us your keys. Oh. Keys. I'll see you back at the flat. <clears throat> That'll be five pounds sixty for your drinks, Mr. Brando. <laughs> Ah, now, Doctor, give it to me straight. I can take it. I'm a man. Are they going to have to hack it off? <laughs> yes. What? You really should have come to as much sooner with this. Eh? There's been no circulation in that foot for far too long. Oh, you bastard. On it. I couldn't move. Now, I'll tell you what, I'll give that spray wipe for juice, she's bloody good. But that's it. It's over now. I think you're in the clear. John! John! No, Dad, forget it. John! Nothing wrong with you now, is it, Dad? God's sake, hold on! Nah. Look, stop right there. I'm very angry at you right now, Dad. I know, I know. I'm way out of line. Out of line? I flew over here worried sick. For what? For nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. I know, I know. Do you not think I've got better things to be getting on with than... Travelling over here for a joke. For a prank. Listen, son, I'm busy. I'm at a very important part of my career right now. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a bad way to behave. I've been stupid. I'm a silly old bastard. But you... You never bloody phone. I'm on my own here. Apart from Jack, I've named me. D did you know that Jack took me with him to Canada a few weeks back there? Canada? I see, you didn't even know that, did you? No. No. I mean, did it ever occur to you that I might be missing you? I mean, all this... I'm sorry. 
I'm messing you. Wally was Canada. Smashing. Aye. Oh, I love their grub. Full of big fatties. <laughs> <laughs> How does this sound, eh? We'll all come over this summer. Spend some time together. Aye, aye. No, no, no. We'll come over. I'll book it when we get back to the house. I mean it. I'll know what you're doing. Really? Aye. You guys all right, are you? Aye, aye. Aye, I've said my sorries, Jack. Aye. Aye, we're good. And that right, John? Brand new, Dad. Yeah, glad to hear it. <laughs> Jack! Back in the pipe! I know. Well, there's a hell of a lot going on, you know. <laughs> So John's coming over in the summer with the family. Come here. I am indeed. Not much smashing. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, I can't wait to see their faces when I tell them they're not going to Disney World. They're going to Craig Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Disney World. The council's just repainted all the swings in the park. Yeah. I'll buy a nice boat and a vids. Mm. So new Greg's opening the high street. <laughs> Disney World. It's a pleasure. Yeah. yeah, the state store. So John busted you right there in the Klansman. Aye. That's a shame. I'm sorry I missed that. Some state of affairs, isn't it, Winston? Pish. The way I see it, I've been lucky. It could have been my lungs. I, I was doing 80 fags a day, senior service to No asking about with your poofy silkies. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? You never think that when you're lighting up, that one day they might have to hack a limb off you, but that's what's happened. Anyway, what's been happening with yous? Jack's back in the pipe. Oh, good, aye. Yeah. Uh, Hard to imagine you without it. Oh, aye, uh, the guy in the bed at the end of the world... Wants to buy my slippers off me. You've heard that, aye. Uh. Aye. For every arsehole in the ward. Right, we'll, uh, we'll away and let you get a rest, Winston. Aye, let me get a rest. There you are, sweetheart. Well, there's a bit of company for you, Mr Ingram. Winston, is that you? What are you doing in here? Never mind that, the Nurse. Wait till I tell you what Nurse. happened to me, Winston. Nurse. 